Retainment, which stands for Together Individual Retainment. Okay, so reminder, follow me on Together Individual Retainment Facebook, and follow me on Thai Blog for my podcast on Anchor.fm, listen to me on Spotify, and of course, right here on YouTube. Okay, so... Basically, I finally got some Mickey Mouse ears. <laughs> uh, basically, they are so cute, I couldn't resist. So, uh, I just thought maybe it was the perfect time to do that. Uh, since we are still in our Disney Christmas collection book. And as you can also tell, we are 10 days until Christmas. But, of course, we're doing 12 days of Christmas countdown. And uh, with our number... Uh, 10, I guess you could say um, number 10 or 9, uh, due to the fact that 12 Days of Christmas is basically getting us down to Christmas Eve, I uh, think it's about time that we get into our next story, and of course, it's Robin Hood! For those of you that don't know Robin Hood Disney version, uh, Disney version contains a fox, it contains chicken, all the animals are being characters in the story called Robin Hood, and this town is called Christmas for Everyone, and as we all know, Robin steals from the rich to give to the poor, and that is just something to think about and care as well, so let's get into it, shall we? On a Christmas Eve, a brain fox named Robin Hood and his fair friend Little John were celebrating in Sherwood Forest. They had roasted a goose and some chestnuts over an open fire. A true feast, said Friar Tuck, a badger. When he saw a goose, he knelt beside the fire to warm his hands. We did our best, said Little John. It wasn't easy to get a bird on Christmas Eve, but good old Robin knows where to find things, he chuckled. Robin Hood laughed. Johnny, you give me too much credit. The goose was a Christmas gift from the Sheriff of Nottingham. For those of you that don't know, the Sheriff of Nottingham is the one that's trying to go after and arrest Robin Hood. But as we all know, Robin Hood's too clever to get arrested and all that stuff. He won't miss one little bird. You should see him, the spread he's got over there. I'm sure Friar Tuck said he won't notice a missing goose when he's already got chicken and a turkey on his holiday table. Friar Tuck shook his head. Doesn't seem right that old sheriff gets more greedy by the day by the hour. In fact, there is one villain that he's very loyal to. The sheriff of Nottingham is loyal to King Richard's brother, Prince John, who is much more greedier than he ever expected. But he still plans to get the guards and, uh, Sheriff of Nottingham, his equal rights or whatever, but still, let's see what else he's got planned. Robin Hood thought about what Friar Tuckett said when they sat down to dinner with Toby Turtle and Alan Adale, the rooster. Robin Hood noticed everyone looked a little down. This isn't a cheerful Christmas feast, Little John noted. Something's not right, said Toby Turtle. Robin Hood nodded. He knew Toby was right, but he couldn't figure out what the problem was either. The goose and taste great, Toby said. It's just that would some Christmas music light in the mood, Alan Adele asked him as he picked up his guitar. I know what it is, Robin, Little John said. He looks sad. We took the day off to get ready for Christmas. The only thing we stole was the goose, Robin Hood cried. He couldn't believe he hadn't thought of all the poor people of Nottingham who didn't have anything to eat this Christmas holiday. So what else do you think Robin's going to steal to give to the poor? So let's see what Robin Hood's got to sleep. The poor people of Nottingham don't have anything to eat, Friar Tuck asked. He felt terrible all day. He had gone around to the poorest families, handling out small purses full of coins gathered from the collection plate. He hadn't even thought of bringing a Christmas feast to anyone. A single tear rolled down his cheek. A Christmas feast is an important part of the holiday said Robin, and I think I know where we could find one at this late hour, Little John smiled. Who deserves a feast, at least? He crabbed it, and he knew exactly what Robin was thinking. The Sheriff of Nottingham, Toby said. The friends set out through the forest on their sleigh. They were on their way to get the Sheriff's house. They knew he would have plenty of food to spare. When they reached the sheriff's home, they peered through the frosted window. Robin gasped at the sight before them. A yule log glazed on the hearth. The tree twinkled with candles and gifts and were everywhere. Steam rose from the large dining table. 
look at all those gifts and all that food. I can think of a dozen families who would be grateful for just one item from that pile. Robin Hood said to Little John, I will go into the front door and distract the sheriff. Johnny, you take the men inside and bring the feast and the presents out to the kitchen. Then load up the sleigh. Robin quickly disguised himself as a blind beggar and rapped him on the sheriff's door. Well, this ought to be good. But I, I don't know. He may be clever, but Robin's going to have trouble. And then, when the sheriff opened it, Robin said, Alms for the poor blind man on this wintry eve. Oh, you beggars, the sheriff said. Can't you give it a rest? It's Christmas Eve, and I'm trying to eat my dinner in peace. The sheriff went to close the door, but Robin held it open. All the more reason to spare something kind, sir, Robin said. Now wait just a minute there, said sheriff. the sheriff said. I haven't, haven't I seen you or seen that other before? Robin shook his head. The sheriff lunged forward to grab the beggar. Robin ducked, but the sheriff caught his arm. And he looked at the hat on the beggar's hand and saw the smile face of Robin. Uh-oh, something tell me I was right. Robin's in trouble, but he's clever. Oh. Clever as a fox, they might say. <laughs> I knew it, the sheriff said. As he looked at Robin, you can't fool the good sheriff of Nottingham. Robin smiled. He had tricked the sheriff plenty of times before. He wiggled free as the sheriff's grip and ran off. The sheriff chased him into the Sherwood Forest. Robin laughed as he ran. He was so quick that the sheriff couldn't hardly keep up. When Robin had put enough distance between himself and the sheriff, he climbed high into a tree, carefully creeped out onto the thick branch, and watched for the sheriff. He knew that evil men wouldn't give up easily. Robin heard footsteps crunching through the snow. He peered down and watched the sheriff run through the woods, calling after him. The sheriff searched for Robin, but he couldn't find even a footprint. I don't get you... This time, Robin Hood, the sheriff called as he ran. Robin chuckled as he slid to the ground. He bested the sheriff once again. I told you, clever as a fox. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, Little John and the rest of the men had taken the sheriff's gifts and feasts. They loaded their sleigh with brightly wrapped packages, roast turkey, and plum pudding. They even took a magnificent Christmas tree. Little John took hold of the front of the sleigh and started to run. Robin Hood... Soon caught up with his friends. There's no time to waste, he said. The sheriff is mad. We gotta get him these gifts delivered before he takes them all back. May Marion, a kind young fox, and his beloved and betrothed of a lifetime, <laughs> and her lady in waiting, a cheerful hen named Lady Cluck, passed by in the sleigh in their carriage. Why, Robin Hood, what a merry surprise, Marion said, as the carriage pulled to a stop. Robin bowed low to the ladies. Merry Christmas Eve to you. To May Marion, he said. What are you ladies doing out this evening? Marion said. I've been out delivering baskets to the poor. There are so many in need. The lady cluck, we've just run out. Robin smiled wide. It just so happens that I was doing the same thing. Let us share these gifts with you. So May Marion is the one that's like a double agent, you might say. She's like working for Robin Hood, but yeah, she's like on the royalty side and everything, but yet Robin Hood and May Marion are lovers in a way. <laughs> the sheriff's uh, Christmas uh, trimmings were safely uh, tucked into the carriage. See you back in Sherwood Forest, Robin called as Little John pulled the sleigh off into the woods. He stayed to hand out the food and gifts to May Marion. When they finished, they headed for Sherwood Forest to join Little John and the others. Robin Hood couldn't help but feel that... This had been a perfect Christmas. He'd given plenty of food and good cheer to the people of Nottingham, and he had the best gift of all, spending his holiday with May and Marion. I told you, those two were made for each other in the story to begin with. Okay, now that we have our story, it's time for the stocking once again. Okay, let's see. Ah ha ha! Look at that! Robin Hood. <laughs> See what I tell you? He's a fox. Okay, now that we did that, I hope you guys enjoy your Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever holiday you celebrate. It's great that you're celebrating. Happy holidays, everyone. I can't wait to see you next time. Bye. And so, Merry Christmas. 
Joyeux Noël, Melekelekimaka, Feliz Navidad, et Buon Natal. From our house of fun and laughter to yours, Happy Holidays. <laughs>